sogniamo spesso di stare soli. Eppure non riusciamo a fare a meno di quelli che ci stanno attorno. Per quanto cerchiamo di negarlo, abbiamo un innato bisogno di comunità e di rapporti. Ci spostiamo in continuazione, ci separiamo, ma poi ci riraggruppiamo e il più delle volte finiamo col vivere a catastate. Ci sono posti dove questo delirare genera unicamente conflitto. Poi ce ne sono altri in cui i nostri paradossi si risolvono in armonia e in quieto vivere. Benvenuti a Vancouver, la città che sogna di essere perfetta. Il territorio di Vancouver è di una bellezza sconvolgente e questo splendore spingere le persone a vivere in sintonia con la natura. Eppure nel mio immaginario ho sempre visto il Canada come una terra di tagliaboschi, di killer di alberi. Oggi anche quell'attività sta trovando nuovi percorsi più sostenibili. È tempo di fare visita ad Alana. My name is Alana Husby. I own Coast Eco Timber and I live in Vancouver, British Columbia. I am proudly five generations Canadian logger. I'm very proud of those roots. British Columbia was built on the backs of loggers. I love Vancouver. It's a beautiful city. It's a lot of fun. It's very active, very sporty. I love that you can swim and golf and ski on the same day. I was always obsessed with the waste pile and I wanted to do my own thing. So I went and worked on a dry land sort where I learned how to run chainsaws. And we get calls every day from people wanting us to rescue their wood. Some people would see a pulp log, but I would see a chaise or a table. <laughs> we didn't feel the recession, but we also run very lean and mean, as we call it in the logging business. So. Um, because we're going up for a higher end market, it didn't really affect us, but it probably affected the amount of sales. But we didn't feel it, I think, like the big boys. There are huge companies that went under. Um, we didn't feel it like they did. Hi. How are you doing, Domenico? Good, Elena Husby, how are you? Really good, nice meeting you. Nice to meet you. Um, the reason why I came here today is because I heard you have an eco-friendly and uh, sustainable business. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to come and find out exactly what you do oh, to help the environment. Good. Um, I have an eco-forestry company. Um, I'm five generations Canadian lumberjack. My great-great-grandpa, my grandpa, everybody, and me. Um, and we reclaim, rescue, and rediscover wood from Canada and the bottom of the Panama Canal. Oh. Mm -hmm. So we underwater log. We rescue it from, say, a chipper or a sawdust maker. We take it from rivers, lakes, oceans, beachcombers, old logging sites, old buildings. Then we take that and we make decking, flooring, siding, a variety of products. I finished forestry school and my father made me go work with the men. Um, but I went and worked with the men learning chainsaw, I drove machines, we did everything. But I noticed the pile of waste from the logging. It's just a normal part of forestry, but I was more obsessed with the waste. So I'd start taking that wood and making things and I realized that's the direction I wanted to go into. What, what's hmm. this exactly? This is just a piece of driftwood. It's Western Red Cedar, which is our provincial tree. It's Thuya Placata, the tree of life. Oh, nice. Um, and this was floating in a lake. Just floating, who knows for how long, maybe a hundred years and uh, we use them as sculpture or, or what, what have you. I buy them from a family that's in Powell River in the middle of nowhere. Oh wow. Yeah, it's very cool. So. And they call me and they're like, Alana, this old tree's going down and it's going to be chipped up. So I run with a big truck and I get it taken and then I get, get to grab it. I, I save see. it from the chipper. <laughs> A 
How did you actually got the people to call you and go and rescue the trees? I mean, how did you spread um, the voice? I think, well, we, get a, we had a lot of press locally, and I think a lot of people heard about us, and they love to save trees. So they call us up, and we'll send trucks and saws to go save the trees. It's a lot of fun to help the environment and to do something different and to love what I do. It never feels like work, ever. <laughs> what did it make you actually start your business in that time? Um, I think I, you know, I, I'd been working for my father and, and it's when you're dealing with all the big lumber boys, all the, like, these men are men. Like, Would I look like a logger? You could be a logger. Little one. Yeah, well, a big one. <laughs> <laughs> but do you actually own a part of, like, let's say in Panama, mm -hmm. what do you have? You have a license that you can cut in that specific area or do you actually own the area and you can go and cut as much as you want? I have a concession and we work with the different um, levels of government. The ANAM, which is the environmental agency, and the Canal Authority, and we work with them to remove the wood. And we hire a lot of local people. We want to train locals. Um, I think they like that. And what's the item you sell the most? I'd say our decking. Like beautiful decking, we ship it all What's over deck, the world. Like a table, like uh, deck uh, for your outside. Okay. Yeah. So is this gonna become a table the, the way that it looks right now? I think so. Yeah, they can really sand it down. Um, so it could be a tabletop, it could be a headboard, it could be a vanity, it could be anything, anything you could imagine with a piece of wood. Now you said that you actually used to log. Mm -hmm. Well, in forestry school, we had all of our um, chainsaw training and big machinery training, and I'll show you if you like. I will love that. Okay. Thank you very much. Perfect. <laughs> Actually, do you want to move that log for me? Let me see if I can show you my master. <laughs> I'll help you. No, no, I can do it. Oh. I can do it. I'm a man. <laughs> okay. I'm a man. Uh. Very, very, very I'm very man. Very strong man. <laughs> Thank you. You're For the first time, I really felt like a man. I never <laughs> really felt like this before. You'd be a great Canadian. Thank you. Bye, dear. Bye. Another, another one I like. Oh. <laughs> Very good. Perfect. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.